Creating a modern website can be quite involved, ultimately landing you in the world of DevOps or CICD, continuous integration and continuous development. So I wanted to simplify that process greatly while still being able to maintain the tools that I use, which is GitHub, which is Nginx, and being able to have an MIT domain name while hosting that site externally. So I'm gonna walk through the steps that I used and I set it up with the GitHub repository. As usual, I navigated over to GitHub, I created that repository and I uploaded my code. I then went to a registrar and bought a domain name and had that domain name point to my GitHub repo. This is a commonly used process to be able to host your website within GitHub where you can make use of version control and tracking of issues and at the same time not have to pay for hosting because GitHub provides you that service. So I went to my registrar and you can do this with any registrar that you like. I bought my domain name and here I'm giving you an example of a domain name that I bought which is called onexe.org. And then I had the DNS records for that domain name point to the GitHub repo that I had just constructed. Now at this point I, had, I have a website that is being hosted in GitHub that I can version, that I can collaborate with, uh, with in my team. And at the same time, I have this pretty domain name that I could give anyone. However, as I mentioned at the beginning, I wanted to have that pretty MIT domain name. So the additional steps are to be able to do that. Now, the next thing that I did was I created a floating IP on DigitalOcean. And this is a catch-all IP that any domain name that I have from MIT will be sent to. And so what I did is I went to DigitalOcean, I created a floating IP, I then created a VM to which I'm pointing that floating IP. So the workflow will be that any domain name request that comes to the domains that I own at MIT will be sent to this floating IP and that floating IP will send those requests to this VM that we will set up later. I then went to MIT and I requested a, I requested a domain name. In this case, I'm giving here the example of onexe.mit.edu and I have several others that I wanted to do the same thing for. So I requested that MIT IT point all of the domain names that I own on the MIT domain to that floating IP in DigitalOcean. Now the next part is going to be setting up that proxy machine that is receiving all of the requests from the floating IP. And this is a pretty simple setup. All I'm going to do is I'm going to set up Nginx and then I'm going to set up the routing tables, the configuration for that, and that will be able to send the requests that I send from my MIT domain and any users that navigate to any of those MIT domains uh, will be able to see in the URL the MIT domain even though it is hosted somewhere else. So here is the traditional configuration and setup for an engine X server. As you can see here, it's pretty straightforward. You enter these commands at the command line and you end up with a vanilla setup of Nginx. The next thing that I did is I configured the default setup and you can see here a sample redirect. In this case, I'm catching everything that goes to port 80 and request to the server 1xe.mit.edu, which is the one that's coming from MIT. And then I am passing that to 1xe.org, which is the domain that I bought from the public registrars and that I'm pointing to GitHub. So the request will come in from MIT. I will point it to the domain that I, name that I bought and that domain name has rules within its DNS at the registrar to send it to the GitHub repo, which completes the cycle. Now, the next thing that I did is I needed to have certificates so that that pretty domain name that shows up in the URL does not show that it's not secure. And so this last 
part is simply setting up the certificates. I use the wonderful servers, service of Serbot Let's Encrypt. I walk through the configuration. There's ready-made instructions for most configurations. This is a pretty vanilla configuration, Ubuntu 18 and Nginx. So I follow those steps and you can see here the configuration that was done automatically to my uh, to my configuration file. And you can see here that is added all of the information for the SSL certificates. Not only that, it is routing any traffic that comes to port 80 to 443, which is the SSL certificate. So that's the end of the configuration. I will show you here my, let me see my, my browser, and you can see here, I just wanted to show you the floating IP, and that is being assigned to that proxy machine. And then if I route here to 1xc.mit.edu, uh, you will see that I navigate here to, one, to, to the website. And this website is actually at 1xc.org, and that goes to the same location. So there I get the pretty MIT name, custom domain that is simple, that is short, that it's easy to remember. And I can have all of the tooling in the background that gives me flexibility and that gives me the tools that I want. So that's it for this one.